Hi, my name is Daniel, and I'm going to show you today how to use the Virginia Association of Realtors Optimal Routing Tool. Uh, let me just start by saying, as a real estate broker myself, this is one of the most valuable tools I use on a daily basis when showing clients. It really helps me you know, not be embarrassed by uh, you know, showing one property and then going across town and showing another and then realizing that there was a third property that was right next to the first one and then I have to eat crow a little bit and, and come back and show the first one that was in a, a nearby neighborhood. So this just completely eliminates that type of issue. And I've even started giving this out to clients so that they can see where the properties are in relation to one another. You want to start by going to the var.maptimizer.com slash route page, which is linked to from the VAR Buzz website. It's varbuzz.com. It's going to take you to this page, which states, calculate the optimal route for your showings. Here's how you use it. Now, we are members of Matrix up here in Northern Virginia, although you can use any MLS system, or you can just type addresses in directly to use this tool. I'm going to show you some examples using Matrix, but you absolutely do not need to use the Matrix MLS system to do this. All you need to know is the address of the homes that you're going to show. So let me start by finding some addresses of properties that I want to show. And the way I'm going to do that is just show you, I ran a search on Matrix of properties in McLean, Virginia that are active that my client, let's just say my client wanted to see some of these. So I'm going to start by, I actually created a specific view called the VAR Route Optimizer. So let me get to that first. Hold on one second here. And this is you know, a custom view that you can do from the My Matrix tab that just gives me the addresses in a plain text format so that they're easier for me to bring into the VAR tool. Although you could do it from you know, the regular view from you know, the, the one line summary or whatever the case might be. But let's start by just copying some addresses here. So let's say for example, if my client wanted to see this one, and then what you do is in the step one add address here box, you just simply paste the address in and you hit add and then the map is automatically going to find the address when you add it. Now there are several ways to input addresses so I'll show you a couple more advanced methods in a minute after I, I show you this basic method first. Let's say that my client also wanted to see maybe this address here so I'm going to copy that one and throw it in here and then hit add and let's say that my client also wanted to see maybe this address here Copy that one in as well, and hit add. And maybe additionally this one down here. You know, if a client wants to see, let's say, half a dozen or more properties, then this really becomes useful because even if you have a GPS system, it's not always the easiest thing to figure out in what order to show properties. The GPS machine will tell you how to get there, but if you know if your experience is anything like mine oftentimes you, know, you still have to figure out in what order to punch them into the GPS and most GPS machines won't do this optimal routing type of thing for you. So I'm just going to grab a couple more potential addresses here and put this one in here and then let's also grab, I don't know, maybe uh, this one here and I'm just copying and pasting these in now I'm using keyboard shortcuts to copy and paste, but the way that you may be familiar with copying and, and pasting is by doing this, where you highlight it and then you either right click or I believe it's control click on the map and you say copy. So you can do that as well, that's fine. Or you could just type the address in directly. So we have a number of addresses here now that a client, let's say, wanted to see. And then the question is, in what order should you show these? And the way that you figure that out is you just click the Calculate Fastest wrap, Route Trip button and it's going to tell you. And not only does it tell you with this blue line what order to go see them in, but it also gives you driving directions. So you can see here it's telling you how to start, how far it is on each road that you have to go on. Now what I typically do is I use this as a guide and then I print this, which you can do by just hitting Print Results and I'm on a Mac so your view may be a little bit different but I'm going to go ahead and print it to a, a PDF although you would probably want to actually print it out to you know, on a regular printer but we'll just print it to a PDF for now and you can see here that this is printed so imagine this is a printed page and you could take this with you which is what we do 
and you could also give a copy to your clients if you wish so that they can see the relationship of all the properties. Okay, so that's pretty nifty. Uh, although you don't have to use an MLS tool to bring the, the addresses in. Let's say, for example, you just knew, and I'm going to go ahead and go back to the, the main view here. So this is what you see when you start. Let's say that you just knew some zip codes that you wanted to show properties in. So maybe you wanted to show in uh, 20152, and maybe you wanted to show in, and see there it gets put, uh, 20170, and let's say that you also, let's say maybe you had some city names like Fairfax, VA, you want to show property in, so there's Fairfax, or let's say maybe you want to show property in Woodbridge, VA, and so it's going to add all of these in, and then when you hit Calculate Fastest Round Trip, it'll do the same thing. It'll just show you the route to take between all these properties, and it picks one as a starting point, but of course you don't have to start at that one. You could start at number two if you were closer to that one. And you'll see here that it's given driving directions for that as well. Now you can also, and let me just start over again here, you can also just choose, for example, places on the map. So let's say that, and to be fair to people that aren't in Northern Virginia, let's go ahead and just zoom in here using this tool, and we'll start maybe somewhere around Richmond. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this map over using my mouse and maybe you have a property that's in, on the northwest part of Richmond or you know you'll be there and then you know you need to go to this part of Richmond later in the day and you need to head to downtown Richmond and maybe you just need to hit Petersburg. Uh, you can just click on the map like this and then hit calculate fastest round trip and it will use that input to show you what it recommends as the fastest round trip and then it will also give you driving directions and it'll even tell you how long it thinks the round trip will take just over two hours how far it is it's in kilometers by default we will probably change that to miles at some point and here it gives you the driving directions of course you can print this as well so it's as easy as that hope you enjoy the tool and if you have any questions or comments on this we'd love to get feedback you can just email us from this link that's right over here on the right side and as a little added bonus we have the latest posts from the VAR Buzz website that you can click on to uh, to see what's going on uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you find the tool as useful as we do. And please give us uh, feedback as you use it. We'd love to hear what you think. Thank you.